Thank you, Peter. Morning, Aris, Nairobi, maybe good afternoon, other places in the world. As Peter said, we're launching Open Access Week at Ilri this week. I'm a little disappointed by the show online and in and in house, but this is really a very important effort this week, and as Peter said, will be continuing. The significance of this is not just compliance, although that is part of it. There are rules by our donors, there are rules internalized by ILRI, there are rules by the CG about open access. And so part of this is about compliance. But the most important reason is because it helps ILRI to be impactful. Can you remember the days, and some of you are too young to remember the days, where you wrote your journal articles and the publisher will send you five, maybe six reprints, not many, and you struggled about who you should send these to because that's all you had. And so we longed in those days for having something like this, open access um, methods, means by which you can get your great publications out. And so now that we have all these means of doing so, that we're instantly connected, we can get information into the hands of other people by so many means so quickly, we should be taking advantage of it. It helps us to be impactful because we're able to get our knowledge, our information into the hands of those who need it. And we can use various channels to do so. So ILRI can become better known its work can be better used, and we can deliver on the mandate that we're funded to pursue. You know, development is about having access to assets. If you look at what is at the heart of development, it's about having access to assets creating and using assets. So our work has always been about how we get more assets into the hands of the farmers, politicians, policy makers, and so on who need it. And these assets are usually, in our case, livestock, more productive livestock, or it could be income through our livestock. But we can also think about the information, the knowledge we generate as the new assets that people can use, not just the livestock, not just the cash, but all the data, the information, the knowledge that we can use to gain access to assets. So it's a very, to have this means of having open access it's a real boon to the business we do. And so we need to, all of Ilri should pursue this vigorously, not just in the compliance context, but in getting our knowledge into use so that we become more impactful. So this week is about, and continuing after this week, is about discovering what we're doing learning from each other, and certainly innovating. Because as we pursue our work, we're using new means of doing so. Some of us are using our laptops. Some of us are using various digital platforms. Some of us are even using drones. How do we connect these new means of doing our work into this new ethos of open access. And so it is about all of us trying to innovate 
around our new means of doing our work and getting it in, into use. I hope that over the week, the attendance and participation will pick up because it's certainly a very important effort for ILRI and by ILRI. It is not just an optional thing. It is a requirement if we look at the strict regulatory part of it, the compliance part of it. But as I said, it offers a tremendous means for ILRI to become more impactful. So this is very important and I hope that others would join over the course of the week and beyond to ensure that we have the most impact we possibly can by using knowledge as new assets and delivering them in an open access way. So thanks those of you for joining and I hope you would encourage many others to do so because it is at the heart of making ILRI more impactful. So let me now turn it over to Jane and Michael to continue the rest of the program. Welcome those who are joining and please encourage others to join during the course of the week. Thank you much.